In this video, we're going to create a parallel circuit, but we're going to do it in the same project. So just click up in your project tab. Go down to the project there, right click, and you'll be able to add a new schematic. So you can stay right in the project and just add another schematic in it. We're going to name this one parallel. You'll see the parallel folder. You'll have to right click on that and add a new page. We're going to call this Parallel Schematic. And just double click on that, it'll open up the new workspace. So here we're going to create our parallel circuit. I'm going to add a couple of resistors. I had a voltage source. Push R to rotate your components, and then push W to use the wire. And then to get rid of your tool, you can always push Escape. And we're going to add a ground. So a ground symbol, and then I usually just use CapSim. Double click on the properties to change the voltages and the resistor values. And to be able to run, you'll have to do a new simulation profile. We're just selecting um, time domain, doesn't matter. I'm just going to do a time domain. And run PSPICE, and if you get this error, currently you're not in the schematic that you're editing. So you're going to have to go back in here and make this your root folder. So make click parallel, make root. You want to save the design. Yes to all. Now that it's the root, you can double click on it. And you're going to have to remake the simulation because you made it in the other schematic. So make your parallel simulation file. Do a time domain. Click OK. And then you can run and use the icons up here to enable the displays of voltages and currents on your schematic. If you want to zoom in, you can push I on the keyboard. And O on the keyboard will zoom out. Then another thing over here is the bias points. So you can name your name your bias points. We're going to name the one here V1. Just click it right on the line. Name that V1. And then click on that again. It'll auto number it up to V2. Click that and number your next bias point. Name it V2.